Okay, let's talk about threads again. We sort of visited this briefly back in an earlier lesson, but I want to make sure you guys are able to get the threads function up here at the top where it says TH, the thread creator. If you, This doesn't come by default in Onshape. You have to add these features to it. So if you click here on the little plus at the end of your uh, bar here, you want to click on plus and add custom features. We're going to search the public area for, we're going to do, we're going to do public and we're going to actually search for thread creator, all one word. And we're going to click on search. It's going to give you several add-on versions people have developed. Ideally, you want to pick one that has a high version number because that means it's been tested and revised and probably works. So for you to add the thread creator, you're going to click here on thread creator version two probably would be a good one to add. And then when you actually get it, you're going to click here. And when you click here, it's going to add the TH like it has on mine. So I'm not going to add mine again, but that's how you can find the thread creator, which is a great little add on to your own shape. Much easier to build threads this way. So let's add threads to our, our train part here. Uh, this is actually our uh, axle peg. And, and so I have built this using an extruded cylinder, an extruded disc, and then I used a pl work plane to create a circle here and, a, and lofted the large circle into the small circle uh, using loft command, and then I added the hexagon hole. So now we just need to add the threads. So if we click on threads, the thread function, it actually gives you over here a little box to fill in. You first of all have to tell it which face you want to put the threads on here. You also notice it's coming in really large because um, it's defaulted to a pitch of 0.125. If you'll notice our thread callouts back in our drawing, it's 20 threads per inch. So that's one over 20 will give you the pitch. Pitch divided by threads per inch, one over threads per inch will give you pitch. So we're going to make this one divided by 20, which is 0.05 on the pitch. And uh, that'll make it much more... Uh, correct threading. Now, we don't want it fully threaded because ours says it's threaded for a certain distance. Ours is only threaded for one inch out of the 1.25, so we're going to make the thread length one inch, and then that'll leave us a, that'll leave us a quarter of an inch, so we, we, that'll leave us a quarter of an inch that is called the offset. Now, notice it appeared at the wrong end, so we need to click on the flip arrow and that will make the, that will flip it so that the offset is at the top and the threads go down there, down the uh, cylinder. So basically you have one inch of threads, you have a quarter inch of offset. And so this is the way you can actually build your threads in a very realistic way on your axle peg.